Hi everyone, I'm Ben from Sales Space and this is another tech tip. In today's tech tip, we'll be having a look at what Zoho have in place regarding security. So as we are placing all of our important information into Zoho, it's important that we have confidence that it's secure. So the first recommendation we have is to go and visit the trust page on the Zoho website. So this is at zoho.com slash trust. Now what this page is, is it's a really good simple breakdown of what Zoho do regarding security and privacy. Okay, so if we have a look down here, it breaks it up into the different areas. So product security, data security, availability and operational security. They also have a really good white paper here and a security frequently asked questions. Uh, the frequently asked questions are really good. Uh, if you want to go uh, have a look at those and you need a little bit more information, definitely check those out. Further down here we also see their full list of compliance certifications. Okay, So if you do need that level of information that's here and there's also uh, another page here about compliance so this particular page here goes into more detail about these compliance certifications then at the bottom here we have privacy okay so this goes into GDPR uh, and the different privacy options that they've got set up and down here is an FAQ specifically for privacy okay so again that has some really good questions there uh, related to privacy if you do need uh, that level of information so this page is a really useful page uh, good to know that it exists and and where to find it the other thing we'll look have a look at here regarding security is just some basic things we can do to improve our security so uh, the first thing is going to our Zoho account so if you're logged into any of the Zoho apps, just click on the top right, click on your profile picture, then click on the My Account link, uh, and that will take you to into here, into your Zoho account. And firstly, we just want to have a look at this security tab. Okay, so there's a number of things in here we can do. This is where we can change our password. So uh, regularly changing your password is recommended. You can restrict by IP address if you want to go to that level. If you have a, a fixed IP address on your uh, your modem or your work uh, IP, then you can put that in here and that will restrict that. There are some more options here, application specific passwords. Uh, again, you can restrict the uh, applications that are connecting to your Zoho account. And then you can have a look here at the sign-ins. Okay. The other recommendation here is multi-factor authentication. So if you click on this one, it'll give you the different options to set up multi-factor authentication. So it's definitely worthwhile doing this. So what this means is, uh, as well as logging in with your username and password, you also need to uh, log in with a code. So you can either get that code from an SMS, if you enable this option here, SMS, or you can use uh, OTP or the Zoho One Or. So this is very similar to if you use online banking apps, uh, most of those will now uh, have third factor authentication uh, required to access it. So it's, it's just uh, having that uh, next level of security where it's, it's better than having just a password. It's also verifying that you own the phone that's connected to this particular account. So um, definitely worthwhile doing that. So hopefully that will get you started uh, with security, some basic knowledge about what Zoho have with security uh, set up, but also some uh, some basic options there to help improve it for you. Alright, I hope that's been useful for you and I'll speak to you next time.